The idea of just saying to myself, okay, I'm going to go 19 years and never have a drink again. That's just enough to send you off on a binge, isn't it? <laughs> but you can do easy things, and you can get anywhere from here. You ever hear the line, a journey of a thousand miles? What? Begins with one step. That's right out of the Tao Te Ching. That was Lao Tzu. It's so simple. So when you think about balance in your life, think like this about being in balance. You have a dream, and your dream is to live a life that goes a certain way, that looks a certain way, that feels a certain way. You have a dream that you would like to be able to attract prosperity into your life, that you would like to live a prosperous life. My favorite example, I did it on the PBS show, of the lady sitting next to me from San Francisco who was flying back from Maui after having just done a, a, a wedding. And I said to her, what do you do? And she said, I'm a photographer. And I said, oh, how's it going? And she said, well, she said, uh, I'm never going to get rich at it. Now, this is just a thought. Is it true? I don't know if it's true. How can that be? How can you know if that's true, that you're never going to get rich? You don't know. So I said to her, well, would you like to get rich? That's just what I always ask when people ask. Well, she said, well, of course. She said, who wouldn't want to be rich? Everybody wants to be able to be able to get the, buy the things they want. We all want that. I said, so let me see if I understand. You would like to get rich. That's your dream. But what you offer up to that dream is that it'll never happen. That's out of balance. That's the kind of balance I'm speaking about. Not the kind of balance that allows you to do these kinds of things. The kind of balance that you begin to realize that there's a misalignment, if you will, between what it is that you are thinking and what it is that you offer up in the way of habits to make those dreams a reality. I call it principles for creating habits to match your desire. Listen to this quote, it's from Ralph Waldo Emerson. He said, want, want, like what you want, is a growing giant whom the coat of have was never large enough to cover. Want is a growing giant whom the coat of have was never large enough to cover. That is, what you want and what you have are completely and totally out of balance. And Lao Tzu says this to you through me. When you put your attention on what you intend to create and you stay aligned with the way, with the source, from which you came, it will show up. It has to. It has to. So that all of the deficiencies, all of the things that you want but are not able to manifest, have not manifested yet into your life, all of it is not because the universe isn't working with you. It will. It's because you are not a vibrational match, an energetic match, to what it is that you would like to create. And all today is about is learning to change the way you look at your life and understanding that the life that you're living will change just by your changing your opinion about it. It's so beautifully freeing to not be concerned any longer with whether or not what you would like to have is going to show up. If you would like to accomplish something, you must first expect it of yourself. And my question to you is, what do you expect of yourself? Do you expect to be able to perform miracles, to attract into your life the kind of prosperity that you are entitled to? Do you expect that you can manifest the kind of relationships that you would like? 
in order to be able to have these kinds of expectations for yourself, you have to make a dramatic change, a dramatic shift. You must change what's possible for you and what you believe is possible for you.